Hello and welcome on The Watchers TV, welcome at The Watchers Club here in Geneva and we are about to talk with Mr. Jean-Christophe Babin, CEO of Bulgari, who will introduce us the latest uh, watches of the brand and again hats off uh, to him and the brand for having pulled these uh, Geneva Watchers days. We are in Geneva at the Geneva Watch Days and another record also with the tourbillon but not only uh, the thinnest ever tourbillon chronograph uh, self-winning so really in terms of uh, watchmaking excellence a superlative uh, timepiece which is capitalizing obviously on Bulgari know-how in tourbillon we manufacture about 250 280 tourbillon per year we are in the top five in Switzerland and at the same time uh, the know-how and excellence in scene chronograph which earned us last year as uh, a Geneva Watchmaking Grand Prix for uh, the best uh, chronograph of the year with the Finissimo chronograph. So this is the sixth consecutive one. Uh, thanks to that, we'll further have uh, awards which are contributing to the reputation of Bulgari in the first league in terms of uh, watchmaking excellence. Having in mind that we're already in uh, six years of Finissimo life, we have received 16 international awards that is more than any brand in watchmaking history in just one decade. And we try to achieve uh, the ultimate masculine contemporary elegance, which is the slim fit when it comes to your styling. And the mirror of the slim fit is the thin watch. And if the thin watch is close to record, obviously we go the extra mile to try to beat the record as well. But the record is more the cherry on the cake. Uh, the real obsession is eventually uh, this ultimate uh, masculine contemporary elegance because we believe that we have to offer to gentlemen in watches what we do offer to ladies in high jewelry. We forgot collectively to address millennials. We needed really a product which was resonating uh, with millennials. And millennials, what do they expect? Authenticity, high quality, craftsmanship on the one hand, but on the other hand, it's a paradox, they want something different, something pretty cool and casual, uh, something with a strong character, uh, something playful, but also something timeless. So when you put the three dimensions, authentic, craftsmanship, fine, uh, something strong in character, different, extraordinary, but something timeless is very difficult as an equation. Because when you create a brand new watch design, you cannot know whether it will be timeless or not. Thinking about what we could do, it was just revive an icon of the 90s, the famous Bulgari aluminum. We apply the same recipe, so maintaining the very strong aesthetic statement, but making it more craftsmanship, more uh, authentic, with mechanical movement in self quartz, getting to a higher quality level using uh, anodized aluminum to limit corrosion, compared to a normal aluminium. We decided to have aluminium but also titanium so that we had an higher resistance so that we could go 100 meters waterproof, so a true sports watch. The initial model was only 30 uh, meters. We decided to grow it from 38 to 40 millimeters because in 22 years people want to have slightly bigger watches. And eventually we decided that the price should be very competitive, which we do already very well in many categories, but probably uh, an octo finissimo at 12,000 euro is not really realistic if you are 30 years old, fresh out of university, and even if you're a good salary, not to the extent to spend that much money. Conversely, for 2850, you know, it's two iPhones, so why not, you know, uh, getting into your first luxury watch for the price of two iPhones. For sure, it will last longer and will never be obsolete. We decided last year to revive the Gerald Genta franchise. It's a brand we acquired in year 2000. And behind the acquisition was not so much uh, the brand as such initially, but more the incredible uh, design and uh, engineering know-how and patrimony, especially with the Le Sentier manufacturer, which in the last 20 years has totally changed because from a very small manufacturer, it has become a big movement manufacturer. We do solo tempo movement, we do the finisher movement, we do the grande complication, you know, grande sonnerie, 900 components, uh, like 300 working days of work by master uh, watchmaker. Um, and well, part of the five brands in Switzerland doing tourbillon and doing grand complications. There are very few we, we, who can still have the expertise of that. And so, Jaragenta, the goal was primarily to acquire a know-how which we were missing, so that we could, in the years 2014, 15, 16, come with a revolution like Finissimo. Without Jaragenta and Daniel Roth, it would have been impossible. But then we realized that Jaragenta was also a key asset. Uh, a lot of collectors, of passionate watch lovers, 
did ask us, but what are you doing with the Argentina? Can we dream that one day you will come back? Initially, the answer was not yet because, you know, first we have to do our homework on Bulgari, we have to acquire watchmaking legitimacy, and Octofinissimo has been very much instrumental and pivotal to achieve that in quite a few years because it's six years only, but now, obviously, with 60 international awards, uh, the discussion is much different than six years ago. But obviously, it's time for Genta, obviously, with a totally different positioning, uh, much more a niche, ultra selective distribution, limited volumes, purposely. Uh, and we started last year with the 50th anniversary platinum Genta, 50 pieces only, 50,000 euros, so 50 was everything. <laughs> and obviously, uh, doing that, we sent one message to Genta lovers. Guys, we are back. This year, we come with a titanium piece. Strong character, you know, brushed titanium, pretty aggressive. The dial is always, obviously, the bar retro with this jumping minutes and jumping date. However, it's a very bold dial. You know, it's yellow and black. It's a cool watch as well, but a cool watch for a different target at a different price level. The price level is 16,000, which again, I mean, when you consider it's a uh, bar retro grand complication, which is unique in its kind, because before only Bulgari had it, and Bulgari decided, to stop using it with Octo, so that Geragenta identity and uh, uniqueness would be 100%. And this is a combination of two signatures, the Arena case, which made Genta famous amongst many others, and uh, this bar retro look, which was a uh, world first by, by Genta. And this won't be limited any longer. It will be available in Bulgari key flagships across the planet, not many, 30 to 40, and also in uh, e-commerce. Well, congrats and thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And personally, I must say that I really like the aluminum box of uh, this uh, new aluminum collection. See you real soon. Thanks for watching and Viva Watchmaking!